The six astronauts who are now on the International Space Station are sheltered in the Russian section of the station. Initial reports in Russian media said there was an ammonia leak, and that's why they'd had to evacuate what is the U.S. section of this international endeavor. That has not yet been confirmed. There are a lot of tests going on and still a lot of unknowns in the situation. So we were curious and woke up Bob McDonald at home in Victoria to figure out, because it seems like it could be potentially a serious situation up there. Bob, how bad or how worried should we be at this point? Well, Heather, at the moment, they're being really cautious because ammonia is a poisonous gas. You don't want it in the atmosphere inside the space station. So to be safe, they sealed off the American module and they went into the Russian one. That's the advantage of the space station. It's made up of individual modules, and each one of them can be sealed off from all of the others. Now, ammonia is part of the air conditioning system on the space station. Uh, the station, as you know, is filled with equipment. It's got computers, it's got laboratory equipment, and that stuff needs to be cooled and uh, the heat radiated out into space. And also the space station itself goes through extreme temperature changes because it goes around the Earth every hour and a half. So it's going from sunlight to darkness to sunlight to darkness, and there can be a 300 degree temperature change on the outside of the space station. So that's how they use the ammonia. Now there, there are two loops. Ammonia, they try to keep it on the outside of the station, and then on the inside there's a water loop. And uh, so they don't know right now. They, they got an indication that somewhere in that system there was a pressure increase. They don't know if it's the water or if it's the ammonia. So they're taking the safety approach and, and hiding in a safe haven. It looks like we'll get a, a further update from NASA in about an hour and 15 minutes. So maybe they've come to answer some of the questions and focus in on some of the areas you mentioned. I've been following Chris Hadfield's tweets this morning, Bob, and he's been, I don't mean downplaying it, but he's been saying astronauts in the space station, this is, they're doing exactly what they're trained so rigorously to do. What would they be doing right now? Well, what they're doing right now is uh, waiting for ground control to confirm that, uh, yeah, there is a problem, that it's not just the, the sensor itself. I don't know if you've ever been in a car, you're driving along, and all of a sudden a light, red light comes on on the dash. And, well, what you don't do is go, oh, my God, my engine just exploded. You, you think, whoa, is this a real problem? It's still running. I don't hear anything. There's no smoke coming out. Maybe it's just the light. So they want to know if it's the indicator or if it's a real problem. But the difference between astronauts today on the space station and in the past, uh, those who uh, were up on space shuttles, is that they're living in space. And they're really good at fixing things. They're up there for the long term. They're innovators. They've got a lot of equipment on board to fix stuff, spare parts, and uh, or jury rig something if they need to. So they're not going to abandon ship, although the reason they're in the Russian segment is because that's where the Soyuz spacecraft that could bring them home are located if they do need to come back. But they won't come back easily. They train for these. They train for fire. They have protective breathing equipment equipment and what they will ultimately do is uh, they will go back in there and try to find out uh, if it is indeed ammonia leak and if it is do their best to try to fix it on the spot they need that american section because it's the, the sort of the, the bridge that's where all the control for uh, controlling the station is so they need to get back in there so if they if it is determined to be an ammonia leak which would be the worst case scenario in this particular uh, context what would they do i mean try to fix it and do they eliminate the ammonia from from the atmosphere or, or what would they do that's correct. They uh, they try to uh, determine where the leak is, fix it if they can, or patch it, and then uh, vent the ammonia out in, into space. Uh, if they don't have the right parts and they can't jury rig it, that's a, a bigger problem. They'll have to leave that section isolated and wait for spare parts and spare ammonia to come up on the next supply mission, which will probably be a, a Russian or a, a European or an American supply ship to bring up uh, new parts for them. They'll have to wait for that. Uh, they could run the space station from the Russian section for a while, but they'd rather not. It's smaller and, and cramped in there, so they'll do the best they can to try to fix it. But first, they have to determine if it's a problem at all, and I think we'll find out later this morning. We sure will. Let me just ask you, you mentioned supply mission. Uh, just this week, the SpaceX, the Dragon capsule arrived, that unmanned vehicle yeah. that's up there bringing uh, gear and experiments and supplies and all kinds of things. You said they're in the Russian module, which, you know, could be the escape hatch in the very worst situation. But could having that SpaceX capsule there help at all? I mean, would you ever seek refuge in something like that? Or I don't know if it could come into play at all. Yeah, no. That's not really what it is. It's just a delivery truck. Okay. Uh, it's it's packed with equipment, and that, that's that's about it. It's not really uh, designed 
to bring people back, even though it does come back to the uh, to the earth, it hasn't been certified to bring people down yet. So the, the way out is the Soyuz capsules, right. which are there for that purpose, and there's two of them on board, so all six astronauts could return if they needed to, but they won't do that until it's absolutely, absolutely necessary. You may remember back to the Russian space station Mir, they had a situation where they had a fire, they fought that, they had a collision and lost pressure in one of their modules. They fought that and they did not abandon it. So this isn't quite a crisis yet. They're just being really cautious. Okay. Thank you, Bob.